Good morning, everybody. Mikey is at work. This is his busy time at the farm, so you're stuck with just me. But we thought this was important to get this out. Um, we want to thank our dear friend Atlanta so much for doing the research on this and you know getting us this information because um, we think feel that this is important you know to keep establishing that Watchtower still has close ties with the United Nations and uh, I know many Jehovah's Witnesses and apologists were will to this point just say so so what so they have ties to the UN it doesn't matter but, you know, if any Jehovah's Witnesses was to join another church, another organization, uh, what if they got involved in government, you know, what would happen? And so, um, what I'm going to do is I am just going to go through the process and show you, you know, what is going on with, and it is called... The Holo International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, and that is part of the UN, and this is one of their issues or campaigns that they are doing, and Watchtower is part of this, and I'm going to take you through these steps right now. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go to the United Nations website here, and then we are going to scroll down. And over here on the right hand side you see issues and campaigns and you see the Holocaust. So you click on that and it's going to bring you to this page. Okay, now if you go over here and look at the left hand side you see International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. You click on that. Okay, it takes you to the Task Force for International Cooperation on Holocaust Education, Remembrance and Research becomes the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. And the first link right here, the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, we're going to click on that. And then you see the International Holocaust Remember Remembrance Alliance. And over here we're going to click on Directories. And then we're going to scroll over here and click on International Directory. Okay, now here in the search, just to make this quicker, instead of going through all the pages, we're just going to type in Watch. One organization found. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're going to click. Now what's interesting, it doesn't say Watch Iron Bible Tract Society. It says Watch, there's a space, tower, space, society, USA 1884. So are they trying to hide something? Watchtower Society. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Now what's interesting, not only do they still give their addresses, 25 Columbia Heights, their phone numbers, emails, Watchtower's website. Now it's interesting because the type of organization is a publishing and educational organization. Their services include lectures, educational programs, curriculum development, teachers and students workshops. I have no idea what those would be. Research, historical exhibits, coordination center for Jehovah's Witnesses survivors of Nazi persecution, regional archives in Austria, Germany, the Netherlands and Russia, established year 1884. AHO member? No. Then the persons is James Pelletia, associate editor of Watchtower Publications. So I will put the first link down below. Actually, I'll just put the link this to this also. But in case you want to go through all of those steps, you've got it here. Okay, now I'm going to let you all, you know, check that out and read through that. You know, because it's interesting because this Holocaust International, or excuse me, this International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance worked together to assist the United Nations member states in the adoption of national educational curriculum on the Holocaust. Now, we've done a whole series of videos about the Jews, the Nazis, and the Holocaust. 
you know, a couple of years ago. And you can go back and, you know, just put in the search Nazis. And, uh, you know, there was some information that we had on that. But, you know, the thing is, is you get involved, and this is other governments and a forum. Well, I'll just read this. This task force was um, initiated in 1998 by the former Swedish Prime Minister. And it's interesting because this, um, when they started it up, and in January 2000, the forum was attended by the representative of 46 governments, including 23 heads of state or prime ministers and 14 deputy prime ministers or ministers. And the thing is, is, you know what, watch our, you can go ahead and get involved in it. But it's just the hypocrisy that what happens to the rank and file Jehovah Witness if they would to, were to get involved in something like this. You know, just saying. And I also want to bring up something else that Mike and I were talking about. Um, many people do not know that the United States Internet was just handed over on October 1st. Now, you do not see this on the mainstream media, mainstream media. You know, there's no big announcement. There hasn't been anything big, but just little tiny things. And most of the information has been coming from the conspiracy theorist. Now, I did a Google search this morning. Mike and I don't know what is going to happen with this. And we're not even going to try to speculate. But on the Wall Street Journal, and I'm going to put the link to this down below also. The name of the article is An Internet Giveaway to the UN. And you can read this article. And uh, apparently this happened um, September 30th at midnight. And not that many know about it. We do not know if we are going to be censored. We do not know what is going to happen with the Internet. Um, and, you know... Since Watchtower is part of the UN, we don't know if there's going to start be a censorship of videos that are speaking out against Watchtower. We just don't know, you know, and we're not even going to try to guess. But I think we should be prepared that if, you know, we're all taken down who are doing this activism against Watchtower, you know, I believe that is a possibility. And so we were talking about it, and um, just, you know, something to be aware of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link down below to the um, committee hearings that were going on. So like I said, I'm going to put the link down below. I'm going to put the link to the Wall Street Journal and uh, also to the UN links, you know, with this whole Holocaust. And like I said, it, it's... You know, to some it may not seem like a big deal, but it's all tied in together. And I believe, you know, my personal opinion that Watchtower is right in the middle of this nest of them. And, um, you know, take it, for, take it for what it's worth. So thank you so much for watching, and you all have a wonderful day. We love you. Bye.